In conjunction with the James Foundation and Merrimack Stream Park, we, the students of the Black History Matters class at the Rala Area Homeschool Co-op, would like to acknowledge and honor the extreme hardships and sacrifices made by people who had no choice in building and the operation of the Merrimack Ironworks. The groundwork for the James's lucrative iron business was built on the back of enslaved of enslaved workers. From 1828 until the Civil War, Thomas James and Samuel Massey continually held 15 to 25 people in slavery to perform the most grueling tasks within the iron plantation. They dug the furnace foundation and quarried the stone for building the furnace. Later, right here, they chopped timber, mined iron ore, and quarried flux for the iron smelting process. Adults and children were rented. The price was from $25 to $120 a day. The price depended on, on an age, skill level, <laughs> and gender. Most came from commuted communities such as Columbia, Fayette, and Fulton along the Missouri River. First hand accounts Samuel Massey expected a great deal for the price he paid. The day's work consisted of 10 to 12 hours of hard labor. Slow workers were forced to work well past dark to complete their daily tasks. When conditions were so harsh, many enslaved workers escaped and ran back to the people who claimed them as property. Some enslavers refused to return runaways, claiming the tasks were so punishing they injured the health of the enslaved workers. The next time you visit Merrimack Spring Park, view the immense furnace or walk down the path to the former iron pit and feel the heat of the day upon your shoulders. Imagine working 10 to 12 hour shifts. Quarries stone and ore when telling the history of Merrimack Ironworks, we must give a voice to all, especially those who did not have a choice in being here. Black History Matters!